He's staying with Chinese cultural exports now. The Legend of Zhen Huan, a Chinese TV drama which depicts the power struggle between the concubines of an emperor, has already been a success here in Asian countries. Now it's about to land in the U.S., a positive sign that Chinese TV is increasingly ready to move into the international arena. Our reporter Shen Li has more. The desperate housewives are about to get some competition from the desperate concubines. As the most popular Chinese TV series of 2012, The Legend of Zhen Huan has charmed both domestic and foreign viewers. The costume drama centers around Zhen Huan and her rise to prominence in the scheme-filled palaces of the Qing dynasty. The 76-episode show would be cut down to six episodes, each lasting from 90 minutes to two hours. Before marching into the States, the drama has already become a hit in Japan. Here are some comments from viewers there. I like how the show recreates that era. Maybe I'll watch the Dreams of Red Mansion series. It's a great show, but some of the Chinese idioms are really hard to absorb. Why this huge success? For Li Xingwen, a senior commentator at Beijing Youth Daily, it's both the form and the content. The drama offers a unique view into the imperial palace and is from the female's perspective rather than showing the power struggles between the males. In addition, the storyline is really interesting and accomplished with refined costumes. It literally reproduces that particular piece of history and everybody loves it. Apart from dramas about history, urban TV shows like A Beautiful Era for Daughter-in-Laws have also stirred up enthusiasm for Chinese TV dramas in Africa. For China, cultural exchange has always been a crucial link for its quest to become an influential world power. However, despite the olive branch from the U.S., in the realm of television drama, China remains more as an importer rather than an active exporter. Take our neighbor South Korea, for example. In the field of cultural products led by TV dramas, South Korea achieved an incredible export value of about 700 million U.S. dollars in 2011 alone, with more than half from overseas markets. That number remains around 100 million for China, with two-thirds of its TV programs radiating to Asian countries. The themes are mostly about love, but as the audience tastes become more diversified, apparently that's not enough. Top of the list, I think we should be able to incorporate different themes into the industry, like sci-fi series or medical dramas. We've seen too many love themes dramas. The supervising departments should encourage that kind of innovation. And also, we've been remarking a lot of hit shows from abroad. I think it's about time we made a hit show ourselves. But Chinese TV dramas do have an edge. They are updated daily, which caters to Ichi viewers. Generally, for U.S. or Japanese TV series, screenwriters have to rewrite stories according to the ratings, while in China, producers usually choose popular novels to base their scripts on. But besides creativity in script writing, translation also poses a major problem. Nevertheless, the legend of Zhen Huan landing in the States is definitely a positive sign and an important step in an uphill battle. Shen Li, CCTV.